The Pacific. To the rest of the world, global warming is still a debated issue. But to the island nations of the world's largest ocean, the effects are very real. Sea level rise, thought to be a phenomenon of the future, is already occurring on the Pacific islands of Ulithi, Kiribati, and Tuvalu. Slowly, the Pacific is becoming the front lines of an emerging global crisis. So low in the water, it really does run the risk of becoming the first country to fall victim to the way our climate is now changing. In New Zealand, one man felt the growing pressure to act. Pete Bethune, a former consultant for the oil industry, left behind a comfortable salary to dedicate his life to promoting alternative fuel methods. After seeing a demonstration of a trimaran prototype with the amazing ability to cut through waves, Bethune would come up with an innovative plan. The plan I've got is to set a record for a power boat to circumnavigate the globe. But the really cool thing is, I'm gonna fuel the boat with biodiesel, which is a renewable fuel. And I'm hoping that this is going to help to raise public awareness and acceptance for biofuels, and not just in New Zealand, but hopefully right around the globe. Utilizing his family's own life savings, Bethune commissioned the building of the wave-piercing trimaran, which would come to be known as Earth Race. On March 10, 2007, Captain Pete Bethune, joined by a team dedicated to the cause of biodiesel, set forward to make history. Tragedy would follow as unforeseen events nearly ended Earth Race's journey before it barely began. After damaging delays in Guatemala, Earth Race limped towards the course's midway point, stopping at the small island nation of Palau, still clinging to the faint possibility of breaking the record. <laughs> 